from Triple Colossal Studios right to your headset. This is Michael Andrua presented by CKOTrainer.com. Cheesy name, I labeled it. Uh, a lot of people are already <laughs> not sending in their diets that, that night and uh, you're sending in that night not to make uh, homework for yourself just so there's some accountability every single day and I don't mind going all out waking up extra early producing videos trying to motivate you in any which way stepping up the training that's my job I, I, I'm doing this but I want to make sure that you make this happen you've committed at this point to at least improving yourself a little bit, challenging yourself, and trying to enjoy it as much as possible. If you ultimately hate working out, you truly believe that. I don't. Uh, first, first off, I think everybody should work out. A human isn't meant to sit in a cub cubicle and just hit numbers, and you, you're not going to feel satisfied. You must challenge yourself. You must do the uncomfortable things. And you know that. I know that. Whatever is the most uncomfortable thing, you usually have to do it more than anything else to break through the the plateau in your life so i just got a very uh, i don't think amy would mind me saying a great email she's lost a lot of weight already she looks fantastic clothes are fitting loosely now and it, you hit a certain point where everything momentum is building and then something will be plopped in your lap and you'll have a choice you'll either say this is going to crush me there's no way i can make my health and my fitness and how I want to look at priority. Obviously, you can just make other up other priorities, but I want to make sure that time you get that challenge when somebody's sick, you catch a cold, you get the flu, don't let it stop you. Stay focused on your goal. Be reasonable. Uh, this is this is your your opportunity. You can have your three cheat meals throughout the week, no questions asked. Try not to eat as if you were going to the gulags. <laughs> Try to eat a normal, sensible meal. Have some red wine with friends. Don't just suck down uh, 20 Jack Daniels because you're, you're you're extremely stressed out. Use your workouts to reduce your stress level and enjoy what you do. Be conscious when you're when you're doing it. That's the only advice. You, it's always the simplest advice is the best. And just try to consciously eat. If you consciously eat, you can eat half the food anyway. You're gonna if you consciously work out and you're just focused on the squat in that moment, you're breathing in that moment, it's gonna be so much easier than saying, I hate doing squats, I hate doing squats. You you have conflicting voices in your mind, and we've covered this in past episodes, that fight all day with each other. And normally <laughs> the things that are easiest win. Don't listen to the voice in your head. At at four forty five this morning, my, my I was internally telling myself I almost put the camera on uh, this sucks I, I was just anything negative was just being fired into my brain I don't know if it was because I made Tina Turner my alarm the night before and I thought that would be funny in the morning which turns out not to be but you you have an internal dialogue most of its negative it's almost always repetitive it might have been repeating for 20 years the internal dialogue working out eating right it's all about being conscious and trying to stay in the moment which allows you not to think about scenarios in the future that you'll never you know you could watch the doctors and I just the doctors drive me crazy me Christy loves it I mean she always Christy's so well informed she knows absolutely every detail it's, it's tough to argue with her but I like to debate anyway but the doctors will have you worried about, now that it's not current, but the bird flu or getting your flu shot. You'll, they'll have you 10 months in advance thinking about a situation where you'll never encounter it. You're not going to get the bird flu. Chances are nothing bad is going to happen ever to you. It's, it's, it, you're just going to live your life and you'll deal with challenges as they come. If something happens, you'll deal with it. If you get the bird flu, you'll, uh, I don't know you'll move to China or something just stay away from the gym but you don't have to worry about those those challenges will come find you and you just have to be in a position where you're making a choice and saying this is either gonna affect my life's priorities which I'm hoping and I'm advocating for health and working out and fitness to be a major aspect of your life so that you actually get back to how humans were supposed to live which was to 
run around. It's, it's it's exhilarating. It's fun. That's what our classes do. That's what my class. It's designed to put you into a a, a primordial mindset where you're just hitting things and running around. That's that's what your hour. We're just compressing it into an hour. It's not a plug for my classes, but that that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel it would benefit your life. Obviously, you could tell me I have four kids. I have, uh, you know, I work 18 hours a day. I'm trading Asia, uh, Europe, America, and every other which way. And I, I completely understand that. But you got to understand it's, it's also going to affect your, your long-term health. And you're really, you'll never have wealth unless you're healthy as well. Because then you'll just have money. So I'm rambling on. I like to ramble on. Have a fantastic weekend. Work out this weekend. Set yourself up for success. Plan uh, a walk. Don't watch so much TV. Stick to the basics. Uh, go out with friends. Have a fantastic meal. Treat everybody nice. And uh, I'll see you back. I'll probably see you tomorrow because we have the, the fundraiser for Susan G. Coleman at 2.30. And we have the uh, CKO franchise meeting at 10.30 if anybody wants to come. Have a fantastic weekend. Email me, Mike, at Club KO Gyms, and keep up the work. I'm going to make sure this happens. I'm here. I'm at your disposal.